Hi, my name is Mark, and in this lightning talk, I'm going to be defining the concept of open source and how it applies to the field of education research. I've separated this presentation out into three main questions, followed by a resource section to get you started on your open source journey. First, we'll look at the definition of open source and how licenses can allow for customization of how open source technology is used after being shared. Next, we'll explore how open source can be used within the field of education research. Lastly, I'll provide some reasons why open source may be a better solution for your research needs in comparison to proprietary solutions. Open source code is code that is publicly available for all to see, modify, and distribute as they see fit. However, this doesn't mean that there is no control at all over how software gets used. Licenses, which are assigned alongside the code, determine how others may use the code. If you are using the code of others, you'll want to read the license yourself. I would also like to mention that open source does not mean that software is any less secure. Having access to the source code does not mean that everyone will have access to your particular system. Even the most sensitive systems, such as password managers, can be open source. So how does this apply to education research? I would like to stress that open source is not just for coders. We all use software every day, both in our personal and professional lives, and having more transparency in how that software works allows us to all contribute and further our understanding. The first step is to make the research code available. This should be done in a specific place, such as a repository, where others can go to get access. This place should be kept as constant as possible, and the changes that are made over time should be documented. Next, we can use open source solutions where possible in the research process. If you have a discussion board where students interact with each other as part of your project, pitch an open source solution. This will enable other researchers to better replicate your research methods by also have a, having access to the software solutions you used. Lastly, inspire a spirit of collaboration, either between research groups or even between researchers and participants. Using open source enables everyone to propose improvements or spot pitfalls. There are many reasons why open source technology may be better than proprietary solutions, ranging from practical to philosophical. The first bullet point on this slide may be the most attractive to many. Open source solutions can help reduce cost because they're often cheaper than their proprietary equivalents, and in some cases are funded entirely by donations. If you do end up with large cost savings after adopting a particular piece of software, I would encourage you to consider donating some of those savings to help keep software maintained. Adopting open source solutions can also help reduce silos. When using proprietary technology, issues are often resolved between a vendor and a lab, and this means that any improvements that are made may not be shared. Open source allows research groups to learn from each other and adopt improvements as they see fit. Finally, central to both science and education is the notion that ideas should be shared so that we can learn from each other. I don't see why software should be any different. Getting started with open source can feel like a lot, but it doesn't have to. These are some resources that may help you get started. For more information on license definitions, you can check out the open source initiatives license list. For getting started on storing your code and research information in one central place, you can look to projects within the OSF from the Center of Open Science. To explore thousands of open source software projects, you can take an adventure through GitHub. I would like to thank you for attending this conference and for watching this presentation. And I hope that you have learned a little bit about the concept of open source through this presentation. Together, we can help make the world a more open place.